The world of ethical hacking and penetration testing demands specialized operating systems packed with security tools, customizable environments, and robust anonymity features. And while mainstream OSEs like Windows and Mac OS fall dangerously short for professional security work, several Linux-based distributions have been meticulously engineered to create the ultimate platforms for both offensive and defensive cybersecurity operations. Kaylee Linux, developed by Offensive Security, stands as the undisputed king of hacking OCs, preloaded with over 600 penetration testing tools, including Metasploit, Burp Suite, Nmap, Wireshark, and John the Ripper, all seamlessly integrated into a Debian-based environment optimized for security research with custom kernel patches for wireless injection and network packet manipulation. What makes Kaylee truly dominant is its unparalleled toolset organization. Tools are categorized by function with seamless integration between utilities, while features like persistent USB mode allow hackers to carry a fully configured environment in their pocket. And the Kali NetHunter extension brings this power to Android devices with specialized mobile penetration testing capabilities. For those requiring even deeper customization, Parrot Security OS emerges as a formidable alternative with its unique sandboxed tool system that isolates each security application in its own container to prevent dependency conflicts. Combined with advanced anonymity features like on-the-fly MAC address changing, automatic VPN routing, and I2P darknet support, all wrapped in a lightweight mate desktop environment that runs smoothly on older hardware. Moving beyond traditional penetration testing distributions, Black Arch Linux distinguishes itself as the choice for elite hackers and security researchers with its staggering repository of over 3,000 security tools, more than any other OS organized into precise categories from binary exploitation to forensic analysis, all running on a brutally minimal Arch Linux base that offers unparalleled customization for those willing to master its steep learning curve. Black Arc's rolling release model ensures immediate access to the latest exploit frameworks and zero-day tools, while its black box mode lets users boot directly into a pre-configured hacking environment with all networking disabled until explicitly enabled, perfect for sensitive operations. For hardware hacking and IoT security assessments, Atifios stands alone with specialized toolchains for firmware analysis, embedded device exploitation, and radio frequency hacking all pre-configured with the necessary drivers and dependencies that typically plague security professionals when setting up hardware testing environments from scratch. The need for absolute anonymity creates another category of hacking, OCs led by TAILS, the Amnesic Incognito Live System, which routes all connections through the Tor network by default, leaves no digital footprint on host machines, and includes built-in tools for secure communication, onion share, Pigeon with OTR encryption, and data sanitization, Nautilus Wipe, features that made it famous as Edward Snowden's preferred OS during NSA document leaks. Similarly, Wunix takes anonymity further through its unique virtual machine isolation, splitting the OS into two parts, a workstation VM that runs applications and a gateway VM that handles all Tor connections creating an air-gapped security model where even kernel-level exploits can't reveal the user's real IP address. For hackers focused on wireless network assessments, Wi-Fi Slacks remains unmatched with its unparalleled driver support for hundreds of wireless chipsets and specialized tools like Aircrack Ung, Reva, and Wi-Fi, pre-configured for brute force attacks. WPS pin cracking, and rogue access point deployment, all packaged with custom Linux kernel modules that enable monitor mode and packet injection on hardware that typically resists such operations. Digital forensics experts require different specialized OSEs, and Kane, computer-aided investigative environment, delivers a meticulously crafted Ubuntu-based platform with write blocking at the kernel level to prevent evidence contamination, automated timeline generation from disk images, and integration with professional forensic hardware like Tableau write blockers, all while maintaining a legally defensible chain of custody process. Deft Linux, digital evidence and forensic toolkit, complements this with its live response mode for analyzing running systems without altering volatile memory, plus advanced carving tools for recovering deleted files from damaged media. For malware analysts and reverse engineers, Remnux provides a curated Ubuntu environment packed with debuggers, 
GDB, WinDBG, Disassemblers, Ghidra, IDA Pro Free, and Sandboxes, Cuckoo Cape, specifically optimized for dissecting malicious software. Its unique malware zoo feature includes hundreds of categorized malware samples for immediate analysis practice. The emerging field of red team operations has spawned specialized OSEs like Commando VM, a Windows-based WAR penetration testing environment that layers offensive security tools onto a familiar Windows 10 11th space, proving invaluable when testing enterprise environments where Linux would stand out anomalously while including PowerShell-based attack frameworks, Empire, Nishang, and Windows privilege escalation tools that Linux-based alternatives lack. For the most cutting-edge exploits, Pentu offers a Gentoo-based rolling release with hardened kernel configurations and the latest versions of bleeding-edge tools like Sliver C2 Framework and Mythic Post-Exploitation Agents, its unique overlay system allows security professionals to maintain multiple tool versions simultaneously for testing exploit reliability across different software revisions. The choice between these OSEs depends heavily on specific hacking scenarios. Kaylee dominates general penetration testing, Parrot excels in anonymity-focused operations, Black Arch offers the most comprehensive toolset for advanced users, while specialized distributions like Atify OS and Remnux cater to niche requirements. All share common traits essential for security work, minimal resource usage to run on disposable VMs or low-power hardware, pre-configured repositories with verified tool versions to prevent dependency hell, custom kernel modifications for packet injection and hardware access, and forensically sound designs that minimize unintended system interactions. Crucially, these OSEs are legal tools when used ethically, their power comes with responsibility, as the same capabilities that allow security professionals to uncover vulnerabilities can be weaponized by malicious actors. Looking forward, the next generation of hacking OCs is already emerging with cloud-native penetration testing platforms that deploy temporary attack environments in serverless architectures, AI-assisted security distributions that automatically recommend exploit chains based on reconnaissance data, and quantum-resistant cryptography testing suites preparing for the post-RSA era. Yet the core principles remain. An ideal hacking OS must be transparent in operation no mysterious background processes, adaptable to new threats, rolling updates for zero-day exploits, and forensically sterile, no accidental data leakage. Whether probing corporate networks for vulnerabilities, conducting lawful intercepts, or hardening systems against advanced persistent threats, these specialized operating systems provide the foundation upon which all serious security work is built. The difference between stumbling in the dark and operating with surgical precision in the digital shadows. Ultimately, mastery of these platforms separates professional security researchers from script kiddies, not just knowing which button to press, but understanding how each tool interacts with the underlying system, how to customize the environment for novel attack vectors, and most importantly, how to operate within ethical boundaries that keep powerful capabilities focused on improving security rather than exploiting it. In an era where cyber threats evolve hourly, these hacking OCs represent both the shield that protects digital infrastructure and the microscope that reveals its weaknesses, dual roles that demand both technical excellence and moral responsibility from those who wield them.